Always put on your PPE in an area that's safe to put on PPE, out of the hot zone, prior to any patient contact. We store our PPE kits behind the seats in the ambulance, and there are three components to each kit. Those are the gown, an N95 respirator, and a face shield. There are two other things that you will need to go with each kit. Properly fitting gloves, and most importantly, hand sanitizer. Before putting on your PPE, use a little hand sanitizer. There's a 20 second long procedure to putting on hand sanitizer. For details on that, see the CDC video on PPE. First part of the kit that goes on is the gown. As you put your gown on, check it to make sure that there's no damage, anything that's going to compromise its effectiveness. Tie your gown at the neck. Putting on your PPE is easier to do with your partner, but if you have to, you can do it on your own. After it's tied at the neck, tie it at the waist. Overlap the back of the gown, and then use the waist tie. Some kits may have a blue plastic gown in them. That one doesn't have a neck tie, it just has a hole that you slip your head through. Don't have to tie it at the neck, it's a little bit easier. After your gown is on, next thing is your respirator. An N95 respirator, and they have two straps. The upper strap is meant to go around the crown of the back of your head. The lower strap goes under your ears around the nape of your neck. Make sure that the straps don't cross. Once the straps are in place, mold the nose piece to fit your face. Take a second to do this because it's important that you get it right. Once you fit the respirator to your face, take a couple quick breaths and exhale, checking around the edges of the mask to make sure that there are no air leaks. If you have any leaks, remold it. If the leaks are around the nose, and readjust the straps if the leaks are around the edges or the bottom. Once your mask is in place, next step is your face shield. If you find that your face shield is fogging, it's most likely due to a leak in the seal of your mask. Refit your mask, readjust it, refit test it, and then you shouldn't have any problems. The last thing to go on is your gloves. Pull the sleeves of your gown down to your knuckles and hold on to them while you put your gloves on. The idea is that when you're done, you've got a good overlap of the glove and the gown with no skin showing at your wrist. If you're doing this with your partner, check them to make sure that theirs is all properly applied and have them check you, just like your SCBA. After that, you're ready to go save a life. When removing or doffing your PPE, the first step is to either use hand sanitizer or disinfecting wipes to clean your hands. The next thing you'll need to prepare is a biohazard bag.
open the bag up and get it ready for you to put your PPE in. First thing that comes off is the gown. Grab it at the shoulders and pull it away from your body. If you lean forward a little bit, it keeps it from touching you. And that's the most important thing. None of this wants to be on you. As you pull your gown off, roll it up into a ball. Keeping what was on the outside, now on the inside of the ball. If it comes off gloves and all, that's a good thing. If it doesn't, that's okay too. You can take your gloves off separately. Put the bald gown in the bag. Then, using the wrist technique, remove your gloves one at a time. Put those in the bag. Carefully remove your face shield by grabbing the elastic strap at the back and pulling it off. Try not to pop it or flick anything that might be on the outside of the face shield anywhere in the ambulance or wherever you are. Put it in the bag. Last thing that comes off is your respirator. Same thing, one at a time, pull the straps over your head and put the mask in the bag. Then taking the outsides of the bag, roll it up and tie it off. The last thing, hand sanitizer. That's it for proper donning and doffing of your PPE. If you have any questions, please talk to your captain or to medical. Thanks.